I'm in Monroe Township. And I am here to speak out against the raise and contract extension of Superintendent Sherry Chanley, in my experience. I keep hearing this is for the children, it is not for the children. Um, she's at the top of our district's chain of command, and this chain of command has failed my daughter terribly. I have three children in Monroe in three different schools. The chain of command is a structure that outlines formal lines of authority, responsibility, and communication within an organization. I'm going to skip this part because it's not relevant. My daughter has multiple health issues. Um, it started in January 3rd of 2022 in one school, moved to the middle school. I'm going to sum it up. She has, it's called AMPS where it's a very bad pain condition. I did work with the nurses. I did work with the um, guidance counselors. I did work with the principal. I had requests for my daughter to do a hybrid schooling because she can't get up sometimes. She can't walk sometimes. I was told that Ms. Chanley denied my request totally. When I asked for a request to be in, in written form, I was told, no, we don't do that. I followed up again. I was told, let me see what she says. That was in May. I just got an email from the principal saying, nope, all you can do is a 504 in school or homeschool, which is not a solution for the entire year. Um, I don't believe that a lot of the nurses and even guidance counselors know the district policies. Nobody can give me a clear answer when I ask questions. I wasn't directed anywhere to look up these policies. I was told no. They kept, I feel like I was being gaslit, but anyway. Uh, we did not have com clear communication. My questions were not properly answered, and the principal had informed me that he referred to the case to other staff, and they, he assumed I had communication. Ms. Chandler, you are the top of the chain of command. As superintendent, the highest ranking official in a school district, you are responsible for making decisions regarding policies, budgets, and overall district operations. You have failed in this instance because you should be aware of what is going on in the district. If you aren't aware of me or my daughter, in spite of my persistent advocacy, there's a real problem. I've been doing this for two years. Because of the school district's lack of assistance, even after obtaining a 504 that I had to fight for over and over, I had to take my daughter out of school and homeschool her because she's not getting a proper education. I, in fact, I'm one of the many parents who have been compelled to resort to homeschooling due the, to the poor leadership of Chanley, Sherry Chanley. I was notified that you denied my request for a hybrid <coughs> online and in-person solution. As a whole, we need to do better for these children who have illnesses that make it difficult to attend school. Full year homeschool is not the answer. I urge the board to deny Cherry, Sherry Chanley a raise and contact ex extension. Our district deserves better leadership. Thank you.